Jennifer Guest. And I'm Todd Atchison, and welcome to Lakeland TV's Destinations, a show about destinations around Lake Barkley and the region. And it's brought to you by LakeBarkley.org. And today we're at Venture River here in Eddyville, Kentucky, one of our favorite destinations, a truly family destination. It sees over 125,000 visitors every year, and there's over a million gallons of water circulating through these pools behind us right now. Speaking of pools, I understand you have a favorite spot here. I do. I love the kiddie pool. You I love like the kiddie pool. Yes, but I love it. You're not a kid. I know, but I can watch the children play. I can lounge. I can work on my tan. That's pretty incredible for those folks that are looking for something to do with the family and maybe work on your tan at the same time. Now, there's some other great destinations, marinas, shops, and restaurants around Lyon County, like the Oasis Southwest Grill down at Exit 40. Now, Jennifer, I know you love the ribs, right? Yes, they have great ribs. They smoke them all day long. You have to go check it out. They also have a huddle house. They have a BP, which is great for gassing up the boat before you head out on the lake. I think they've got a Wendy's down there, too, and two hotels, a Days Inn and a Hampton Inn. So if you're heading into town, stop at Exit 40. Great place to eat or spend the night. Now, speaking of destinations, we had a chance to head out to Rose Hill Museum, which is one of my personal favorite destinations here in Lyon County. It's not about boating or water, but it is about history, and we recently had a chance to have a great behind-the-scenes tour of that historic facility. I'm Sally Whittington. I am fortunate to be the president of Lyon County Historical Society. We own and operate Rose Hill Museum. It is Lyon County's museum. It is a restored antebellum mansion of uh, federal architecture. It was built here on, uh, on the Cumberland River in uh, 1834, as you can see, by Robert Livingston Cobb. He was an early entrepreneur and he was the grandfather of Irvin S. Cobb, who is a noted Kentucky humorist. Come on inside and join us as Lakeline TV tours Rose Hill. I think you know one of our resident tour guides, Charlotte Atchison. Hello, welcome to Rose Hill. This is our waiting room, at least it was a waiting room when Dr. Mosley lived here. And um, this is our entrance. And this is, uh, we're very proud of our Poindexter painting, which um, James Poindexter was a famous artist and uh, during this period of the Civil War. And he was born in Hopkinsville, but he married a lady from uh, Eddyville. This came from um, an area called Glen's Chapel, and it came from the Glen family which this is the people that own this, this uh, it's called the butler chest. And this butler chest would sit in a hall and the butler would come and sometimes he'd put his foot right there and pull up his boot and he would get his messages out and he would take them up the stairs to the lady of the house because a lady was never allowed to come down and see her bow unless she was announced. She would be sitting there and her father would always chaperone her. And not only her father, but her, but her uh, mother, her aunt, for instance, uh, if a grandmother or an, or an auntie lived in the house, she would sit and sew. And this would be the um, sewing tea chest. And this is one of my favorite pieces of furniture in this house. There's a one exactly like it in our White House. In keeping with the, this anniversary of the Civil War, uh, this is our display of especially Cobb's battery. Uh, this, is, this is the flag that was used. These, these gentlemen up here in, in the picture are some of the, some of the survivors uh, many years later. You may have visited 
uh, the Cobbs Battery Monument, uh, General Highland B. Lyon uh, photo is here. Um, Highland B. Lyon bankrolled much of the Cobbs Battery. This is our tool room. The men love this room. In fact, we have to pull some men out of this room. They stay so long in here. But we have a lot of new tools. Actually, they're old tools, but they're new to us. Um, for instance, this is, excuse me, this is a washer. Looks like a plunger, but it's a washer. Washing machine, and um, these tools are over 100 years old. This is a fabulous tool, one of our most popular. This is a steel. These are two of the prints that were given to us by uh, Mariner's Museum, Newport News, Virginia. These were done by uh, Thomas Catlett Skinner, Jr. He is a Lyon County native, a Catawba native, and was their, their uh, sketch artist. We have many, many photographs. If, if you uh, have family that lived in Old Catawba, then uh, you will love these photographs. People will stand for, I guess, an hour, if, if they didn't have to move along in their tour, to look at these. One of the unique things about Lyon County history is you can't go back there anymore because it's underwater. These are of the springs. <clears throat> these are the springs. These are Okatawa streets. Some of the hierarchy. These are stores. All right, this is a plat of that Governor Anderson's son. Okay, uh, Catawba was settled by Governor Charles Anderson. He purchased the property when William Kelly. Uh, fell on hard times financially, and uh, his his son Lathan uh, uh, was a surveyor, and he drew all this. We we uh, we have copies of the plats. This is our quilt room or our loom room. <laughs> these quilts are uh, uh, some of the ladies in the historical society uh, put these squares together. They show interesting points uh, in Lyon County. This is what's called a barn loom, I'm told. It was so large that when they operated, people actually put them in their, in their barns. Over here, we have our Between the Rivers display. Uh, Between the Rivers is an extremely interesting place uh, if, if you have if you have Western Kentucky roots, uh, you know much, much about Between the Rivers. These are some of the stores, some of the, uh, uh, these are the actual uh, grocery receipts. I guess charge account is what you'd call it. Notice how much sugar they're buying. It wasn't for coffee. We want to thank Lakeland TV for allowing us to let you tour our museum. Remember, we're located in Old Eddyville. You're going to be on Highway 93 and just follow the signs to Kentucky State Penitentiary. And when you head down the hill finally, and you think, I'm gonna go right in the water. I'm gonna go right in the river. Well, turn left. You'll see our sign. If you turn right, you'll go up the river. Well, thanks for watching Destinations brought to you by LakeBarkley.org, and it features some of the great locations around Lake Barkley. We hope you keep watching. We're going to take you to some unique spots and different places that you might not have heard of if you're from out of town or thinking about vacationing here. Now, Jennifer, when we come back, understand you're going to go down one of these slides on one of these shows, and we're going to take that. Is that right? Yes, you're right. Well, stay tuned for that. We'll have plenty more on Destinations. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.